what is up sunflower gang it's your girl melly mel back again for another video this time it's another episode of hot tops and soggy bottoms y'all and it's time to go ahead and get to it so in awesome hot top news rotimi and his wife some people are saying that his wife or fiance some people say that they actually actually got you know secretly married his wife fiance whatever have released pregnancy photos and they are expecting a baby boy it is so good all these pregnancies are happening and people having their babies and stuff it's so cute so um if you don't know rotini he has a song with wale called um uh in my bed and he played an actor on power which a lot of people know him from but he's a singer actor um nigerian descent um he's so awesome i follow him on instagram he's funny as hell him and his wife slash fiance they are so cute together and i am actually super happy that they're having a little baby they're calling him the little butter king so <laughs> i'm thinking that it's so cute i'm so happy for them congrats on the baby boy um her pregnancy photos looked like Stunning. She ate up her, her freaking maternity shoot. Like, she looks like a freaking black goddess. I'm here for it. They both slayed the maternity shoot. So, ate that. <laughs> um, in somewhat soggy bottom news, um, Nickelodeon, I'm not Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. had released a video of our fave Steve giving an apology for leaving us all those many years ago on blues clues yes y'all <laughs> a bit of nostalgia um steve from the hit show blues clues you know a lot of people uh, knew that and grew up on that show um as a young kid we were shocked and stunned and completely just like flabbergasted um on the last episode where we got to share with steve that he said he was going away to college and then he was pretty much just leaving his brother joe to just take over his job from there a lot of us never really understood and like we never really accepted uh joe as our blues clues leader because what he's not steve steve is our guy but for their 25th anniversary for blues clues steve came out with an apology kind of video and let us know that you know all the years he spent you know away from us it helped him grow and do his own life and you know we all had to take different paths in life or whatever but you know it wasn't right of him to just up and leave us so it definitely pulled at our heartstrings and gave us those little that little bit of closure that a lot of us didn't know we actually needed from him oh it was lovely so thank you steve for apologizing we love you we missed you obviously and thanks for actually apologizing because it gave us that closure it gave us that closure to finally let you go and let you be but we'll never be accepting joe sorry to joe but that that show was meant for steve like a lot of people stopped watching after steve left so joe really didn't even have a chance yeah steve was our blue school leader period <laughs> um in soggy bottom news akon akon was asked you know his feelings about the passing of michael k williams um and Akon kind of had some something so weird to say. It's 2-11, my queen. He said that um, famous people, famous and rich people, struggle more than poor people. And the internet no doubt ate his ass up for that statement because no, how, what, houseway, no. <laughs> rich and poor, I mean, rich and famous people have so many more options and resources available to them um that that no they don't have it worse than poor people they don't struggle more they um they just make wrong decisions we're all human whether we're rich poor you know we're all human and we're all fallible in our own ways like money doesn't really you know money accentuates who we really are that's my personal belief i feel like money accentuates your soul and it makes you who you really are inside and some people really are sad people inside and you know running to drugs like they have more money they have more resources available to get uh drugs and stuff like that more easily ready available for them so i mean it's not so much they make i mean that they struggle more it's that they you know make poorer decisions than poor people i mean 
you know, poor people don't have the money and access to certain things like that to just be using things in abundance or, you know, just there's certain scenarios that rich people put themselves in, unfortunately, that don't have the best outcomes. And that's poor decision making. They're not struggling, you know, with what poor people struggle with. Like, it, you know, we all have human problems, but they're on different degrees based on our economics, unfortunately. So I, I just feel like that was a real insensitive thing for him to say i understand what he was trying to say that you know rich people make poor decisions sometimes but to say that rich and famous people struggle more than poor people yeah no <laughs> yeah no not really they just make poor decision and among the things that are so available for them no one ever you know takes therapy in abundance you feel me no one ever reaches out to life coaches there's people or things that can actually help add to their life and help them manage whatever problems they go into. They don't use those in abundance. They go straight to the bad things, you know, which is a human trait. Sometimes, you know, uh, the drugs feel better than talking out your feelings. I mean, but that's a human situation. That doesn't, you know, mean, oh, because they're rich, they're struggling more than a poor pe person. That's just a wild ass thing to say so yeah a lot of people been eating kanye up for that i mean not kanye <laughs> see that sounds like something kanye probably would say they're eating akon ass up for that because it was just like bro really you're really confidently saying that yikes you can see how disconnected rich people are from poor people they feel like their problems are just gigantic and catastrophic because they're rich as if poor people are not going through hell daily based on the fact that they are poor and don't have the money or resources to improve their station in life, you know, it's fucked up, but that's an unfortunate truth. And for someone, you know, to have such an abundance, you know, Akon over there building cities in Africa and, you know, stuff like that to say, you know, they're struggling more. It's just, it's insulting. It's insensitive. It's disrespectful. And it was just a stupid thing to say. You could have just said, you know, you feel bad that Michael K. Williams probably turned to drugs to deal with whatever was going on, but to just blatantly say rich people struggle more than poor people ignorant it was just very ignorant <laughs> yeah um in a hot top uh <laughs> topic um nikki was going live um trying to check um i guess her fans or whatever and papa bear was just going ham in the background so a lot of people were just making other hella funny memes about it it was just so funny on twitter people were just going off because Nikki was sitting here trying to, you know, check her friends or whatever. And then she started going off about what she's eating for dinner and all that stuff she done made for dinner. And Papa Bear is just causing ruckus in the background. All you hear is just bang, 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 bang. She probably had to tell Ken or whoever she was with to go ahead and go get that baby because he's doing too much. <laughs> but it was funny. Some of the memes that people were coming up with for it. It was just like hilarious. It was a whole kiki because it was like that boy sounded like he was tearing up the house while she was on live show. So it was just a little funny moment <laughs> that really caught the attention of people. You know, anything Nikki does or says online is going to catch fire. So that was just something cute that I was like, oh, my God, people are so silly. And the, and she's so silly for actually going live and having the baby on here acting a fool. It was funny. Um, Soggy Bottom News, London on the track, his baby mama, Ebony. Like I told you guys in one of the last videos, you know, she was kind of going at um, Summer Walker about, you know, you were just a stripper, you need meds, you know, you were nothing before London on the track came and it scooped you up and made you to who you are. She is now reporting that all of that standing up she was doing for London on the track was cap, big cap, because she wanted to get paid. Yes, he apparently, this is what she is saying, he allegedly told her that if she would stick up for him online, make him look like a good guy, he would give her some money. So that's just what she did. She said, fuck it. My baby, my, my baby daddy said he's going to give me some money if I just go ahead and stand up for him publicly. So I did. And now she's saying that all of that was cap. <laughs> all of that was untrue because now he's refusing to pay her the alleged money he offered her to do that. So it is just a whole bunch of mess like y'all are grown ups out here doing this acting childish for a bag like who even knows what he was going to pay her but the fact that you were so willing to just like tear down another woman on the fact that some man promised you money lets me know that all that i need to know about you girl it's pretty sad and pathetic because it's like you're ready to do that for some money don't even know nothing about the situation obviously he's telling you one thing telling 
the summer one thing telling the other baby mama something else like he's literally playing all of y'all against each other and you really decided i'm going to go ahead and say what i gotta say to get this money so it was just stupid and she looked very stupid very clownish um then the other baby mama uh because uh, this is ebony saying that everything she's saying was cat the other baby mama erica was sitting here exposing screenshots between ebony and london on the track um just pretty much saying how you know he really didn't uh send her money or, or promise her money to be a santa guy or whatever it was just so much stupidness and it really makes me so sad that people are really out here like doing all of this for their baby daddy baby mama drama all that stuff uh oh oh no my light went out but it really is sad because it's like y'all are ready to make a fool of yourself over a guy who literally has other baby mamas he obviously has other things going on that he's not making you a number one priority so why would you stick up for him why would you put yourself in a position to look absolutely nuts online for this man it's sad but I guarantee this won't be the first or last time that these women are at each other's head over this guy London on the track. And it's like, y'all have been dealing with the same crap for years now. Aren't y'all tired? Aren't y'all bored with the same old, same old? Like, it's really getting trashed. Just seeing all the drama between these three, these four, every other day, every other week. It's some new baby mama drama, Summer Walker in London on the track drama. It's sad because obviously there's kids involved and they're going to all they're going to see this when they grow up and get older. And, you know, they're going to be exposed to this and see how childish their parents were. Hopefully they have changed by that time. But just to know that your parents were just this childish publicly online. Y'all are doing a great job. Great parenting, y'all. We love to see the black families okay <laughs> um in hot top news kylie jenner finally confirms the um second baby she's finally putting she put on her instagram you know pictures of the baby bump and videos of the um baby stormy kissing her belly and it was so cute finding the heartbeat and stuff for her second baby so she finally confirmed that she is actually pregnant with our second baby um with travis scott um, a lot of people reported on this a while ago that they suspected that Kylie was pregnant with baby number two, but now she is confirming it on her time, on her page, her official uh, Instagram. So, yay, baby, baby, babies. Everybody's getting pregnant, having their babies. It's such a beautiful thing, and it's a blessing. Babies are blessings. So, congrats to these new moms and new dads, you know, being in the mix. Like, yes, everybody having their babies. Um... In some soggy bottom news, um, <laughs> Joey Chavez and Diddy were spotted on a yacht kissing and canoodling, child. And the only reason why this is even relevant is because a lot of people were, you know, speculating that Diddy and Young Miami were together not too long ago. I guess it was like maybe like a week or two ago that Diddy and Young Miami were spotted together kissing and drinking. She's sitting on his lap drinking a little, you know, that adult juice. So it was put together, you know, and there's been little subliminal things online, like certain captions or tweets they would put, and it sounds like they were kind of responding to each other or whatever. So a lot of people suspected that Young Miami and Diddy are together, were together, but now, yesterday, I believe, is public, publicly coming out that Joey Chavez, which is the baby mom, one of the baby mamas from Future and the baby mama for um, Bow Wow, Bow Wow's uh, baby mama too, kissing and hugging up on Diddy. So now it's looking like she's the new girl in the rotation. Um, Diddy hasn't said anything about it and Joey hasn't said anything about it. They're pretty much just whatever in the situation. Young Miami hasn't made a statement about it. So it seems like everybody is just whatever about the situation. So a lot of people are saying that, hey, they got a little situation going on and they're all cool about it. So <laughs> we should be cool about it. Like if they not tripping about it, Ain't no reason for us to be tripping about it. So let them do their thing. Everybody's grown. Everybody is a consistent adult. So it is what it is. It was just funny because a lot of people were making up memes about young Miami seeing those uh, pictures of Joey and Diddy kissing. And they were laughing. It was, it was a kiki. I laughed at a few of them because they were kind of funny. But it's just like, y'all, y'all cannot be, you know, this is why a lot of people don't be trying to claim these guys early or at all because... As soon as you do, child, here comes the foolishness. Here comes the, the oh, we not together. Oh, we together sometime. Girl, it's it's a fool. And 
Diddy did kind of make Young Miami look foolish with this because it's like you were just with her not too long ago and you're already kissing and canoodling and doing all of this romantic stuff on <sighs> that's them that's celebrities that's what they do child who knows what's going on behind the scenes in real life though we just going on instagram pictures and videos so we ain't got the full scoop but just how it looks from the outside looking in he he looks like he played her and it's sad <laughs> i mean young miami on their city girl shit anyway but it's just like Diddy, I don't know. I mean, yeah, Diddy's got money. He's rich. He's famous, whatever. But, you know, some of the conspiracy theories, child, and some of the things that he's been, you know, suspected of doing, crimes he's suspected of committing, um, maybe you just dodged the bullet, sis. That's all I'm saying. Maybe you might have just dodged the bullet. You never know. But either way, it's sad to see these black men just playing these women against each other. It's pretty disgusting, to be honest. But... It ain't the last time it'll happen, I guarantee. So there's that. Um, the last topic I think is a hot topic is that um, her pretty much uh, announced that she would be playing in the Color Purple remake, child. Yes. They're going to be remaking the movie, The Color Purple, into a movie musical. I am a huge musical lover now, child. So when I heard that, and, and the color purple is classic. It is a classic in black culture, black history. That's a classic ass movie. So for them to be remaking it into a musical, honey, my heart is singing. Yes, I'm excited about that. And they have um, artists like her um, playing in it. So you know the singing is going to be on point. Y'all know the songs are going to be hitting. So I'm excited. Like yes finally a remake that i'm actually looking forward to because some of these remakes are like y'all should have just left that in the vault leave that where it's at but the color purple i'm actually a little bit excited to see what they're going to do with that because if they already getting hit eight list stars like her on the track girl i'm excited to see who else is going to hop on this project because i'm wanting the songs to be top tier the acting got to be on point like the color purple is got to be on it honey so hopefully whoever they got um on this project blows our minds away with that i am so looking forward to it so i thought that was a really cute little um topic that's going on right now i'm excited to see who else hop on them but the fact that they're even doing that I'm here for it <laughs> here for it like i said some of these remakes really just be having me roll my eyes like y'all low-key trying to mess up an original for what for a bag that y'all not gonna get because people are not gonna see this um like that space jam movie yeah <laughs> but i'm excited to see what they turn and do with this um the color purple turn into a, a musical let's get it i want to see but yeah, yeah, that's all the topics that I just picked out that I actually wanted to talk about and had something to say about. Um, per usual, if you have anything to add, anything to correct, y'all go ahead and kiki with me in the comments. I would love to know what you think or how you feel about any of these topics going on lately. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you like the video, you might as well subscribe to the channel, child. Why are you not subscribed? why i mean we could be doing this on the the regular you turn on the notifications honey and you can see this beautiful face more often like do that it's good for your health <laughs> but yeah y'all that's all i got so i will see you guys in the next one peace and be good people